Thank you. It is a great pleasure to be here, and I will do two things. First, I will introduce True Pricing, and second, I will present a case we did on coffee from Brazil for the Sustainable Food Trust. So we see a global momentum for true cost accounting across the globe, and here is a non-exhaustive list of organizations working in this space. And I think True Price can contribute to two questions you may have. One is, how can we cut through the complexity and come to a method that can actually be applied on a large scale? And second, what can we actually do with it? So True Price has, together with partners from civil society, government, and business, developed a method to monetize environmental and social impacts, and it will make that open source. So next year, we will publish guidelines on that. And it can be applied on several levels. First, on the product level, if you have a product that costs 20 euros in the store, and you have five Euro, uh, dollars of environmental costs, five dollars of social costs, then the true price is 30 dollars. Similarly, if you have a company with reported profits of 200 million, an environmental P&L profit and loss of minus 50 million, a social P&L of minus 20 million, then the true P&L is 120 million. And you can do the same thing for investments. So, the method is only the starting point because the big question is what are you going to do with that? And we do three things. First, public information. So we make the method um, publicly available and we create awareness among individuals, consumers, and there is a huge appetite among the public for transparency. But we also raise awareness about, amongst organizations. We're working with Deloitte, Ernst & Young, and PwC for a um, report on the business case for true pricing for businesses. Second, we work on improvement programs, so setting up programs to improve the impacts at the start of the supply chain, because there typically the largest impacts are. And third, um, we help organizations calculate and improve their true prices, true profits, and true returns. So why do we do this? And I think this is very important. Um, so we define the true price as the retail price plus the gap, the social and environmental costs, which we need to close. And then, of course, nobody wants higher prices. The point is not to increase current prices by letting people pay for it. The point is providing people with the information with which we can improve and drive down the true prices by making products in a better way. And here there is an opportunity um, for several um, stakeholders. So on the screen, you see in blue the margins for a product, end product, gray the costs, and orange the external costs. So if you're a business and you don't manage your impacts, then two things will happen. Your external costs will go up and your margin will go down by 2020. Think about it. Corporate investments in water are slated to go up by 60% in the coming five years, and commodity prices have doubled in the past decade. So we have a business problem, low margins, and a societal problem, higher external costs. So we, a way to address both of these issues is by measuring and then managing these impacts. Risk management, so prevent a BP oil spill, prevent a Rana Plaza accident. Performance management, branding, to provide income to invest in sustainable innovation. Supply chain innovation and product innovation. So, now we come to uh, a case we did, or we are doing with the Sustainable Food Trust. It's for uh, coffee in Brazil, based on publicly available data, and we will make um, the results public in the start of the next year, and these are preliminary results we can share with you. So, it's a conventional pack of coffee of 250 grams, um, and we know the retail price is around $2, and the question is, what is the true price? So the local context is very important. Also to ground this, it's very important to be uh, very specific. So we look at the Zona da Mata in Brazil, which is a major coffee producing region, 30 million kilograms of coffee per year, and 90% of the farmers there are smallholders. And they have farms of around seven to 11 hectares, and they work with family and hard labor. And they have a hard time, especially if coffee prices are low. So now the first question to start with, what is the true price of a kilogram of conventional, non-certified, sun-dried coffee from this region? 
So the result we come up with is $5.17, $2 of the retail price and $3 of external costs. So now the second question we have to ask ourselves, um, and now we can ask, where does it come from? And which impacts did we consider? And we look at four big categories, resource use, pollution, workers, and impacts on consumers and local communities. And then the next question is, where are the largest impacts? Because, and this is very important to, uh, to, to us, is why do we do this? It is to create a sustainable economy where people now can have a decent life and also future generations can have a decent life. And that really focuses the core of the debate because we can disagree about many things, but actually we base our uh, met method on things there's global consensus on. For instance, the ILO has clear definitions of what is forced labor, what is child labor. The RUGI framework has consensus, created consensus among business and uh, civil society on what should be the response to human rights issues. And that is what we take as, as a point of departure. And then if we go back to coffee, where are the largest impacts? So the key impacts are on the social side, underpayment for farmers and hard labor, income discrimination, and on the environmental side, it is energy, water use, air pollution, and land use. So now, if we look at where the largest impacts are, it is clearly at the start of the supply chain. So there our focus, our energy should be at. And then the question becomes, if we now look at be best practice coffee that is actually being produced, how does it address these issues? And then you see several things. And we look at fair trade, organic coffee from agri-forestry farms. You see that the fair trade premium helps the income of the farmers because they receive part of the premium. Organic farming reduces the materials and energy footprint and soil pollution. And agroforestry farming improves the land use and the water use quite a lot. So, and to be honest, this best practice coffee is now a bit more expensive, $2.78. But it has a lower true price of $4.58. And then we have two issues. So action to consumers, buy this uh, pack of coffee. It's better. Action to producers, how can we close the gap in the coming five years in a way that doesn't increase the retail price? So we have now identified, and it's uh, early work, four possible interventions. First is an equal pay program to address the income discrimination between men and women and uh, people with a colored and less colored skin, which is an issue in Brazil. Second, um, divert a bit of the premium that now goes to community programs of fair trade to directly to the wages of hard labor, because then you can tackle that issue. Third, increase the yield uh, potential, and that is really possible because uh, uh, you can increase them with 35 to 50%. And then also, uh, and that is the most tricky one, have sustainable energy programs on the farms. And then, uh, almost, almost ready, a very important metric of sustainability is what are the true profits of these farmers uh, if you include these external costs. And we see, and we take at a normal PL, at an environmental PL, the social PL, and then integrate that into the true PL. And we see that conventional farmers make very large true losses. Best practice farmers now are doing quite a lot better, but still negative. And with the measures we have identified, we potentially can make these farmers help them be truly profitable and ready for the next um, uh, 50 years to come. So what have we seen? The true price of conventional coffee from Zona de Mata is $5.17, of best practice current coffee, $4.58, and in five years we can come to um, a true price of $3.79. So I hope this has illustrated that of course, we are not there yet into perfection, but this is actually true pricing, true cost accounting, provides a tangible program for change with which we can start today. Thank you.